Congratulations. We're at the finale. Tell me about tonight's performance and, and the song. What, what was it about this song that kind of caught your attention? In the first place? Your, your original song. <laughs> your original oh, song. Exactly. <laughs> Which one? Dude, I thought she had the attitude. <laughs> Oh, no, she she, she just pulled some oh, attitude no. right now. She just does with a smile. Okay. <laughs> um, how did we feel about our original song? The original song. Uh, great. Uh, well, my, uh, my original song is called Old Soul. It was actually written by a former uh, voice contestant, so it was really nice to have it come back around full circle. I think it's very telling of the artist that I'll be mm -hmm. outside of the show, um, blending sort of soulful and... Um, soulful sounds and country music together mm -hmm. and uh, yeah hopefully people got a glimpse of what's to come and hopefully they liked it as you were like working on the song were you able to put your input into it as well um, from yeah, what was already I, um, done I loved sort of well first I love Bill Appleberry uh, mm -hmm. first of all second of all I like he we were just sitting in the studio um, uh, listening to all of the guitar parts being recorded mm -hmm. and all of the fiddle parts being recorded. Right. So it was really nice to see it all come process. together. Yeah. Yeah, and it came out beautiful. It did. Um, my song was great, especially because the guy who wrote it got to produce the song as well. Mm -hmm. So having the input from the writer was really, 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 really cool. Yeah. And um, I got to call a couple of my friends to sing background on it. I knew some yes. of the musicians who played on it. So for me, I was put in a situation where I felt like I was at home where I could just sing and feel it and vibe. And that kind of environment for me is the perfect creative environment. Right. Um, so I appreciated all of that. And I appreciated a song that wasn't an easy song to sing. It was something that I really had to work on and internalize. And, you know, I messed up the words and the writer was in the room. My nerves got bad. I almost started sweating immediately. But I, I'll take it. I'll, I think singing something that people don't know is always difficult right. mm -hmm. um, but it was fun introducing a crowd to a new song right. what was challenging with this song um there are no big thrills there are no big moments mm -hmm. that people look for from me that big you know heavy no it's mm -hmm. just it's a beautiful song yeah. and it's a story that you have to tell from beginning to end so the challenge for me was to be able to still invoke the same emotion if i'm just standing still and not moving right mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel throughout the season as you were doing the covers? Um, how do you feel that kind of helped you with, with your original song today? That's a great question. I think with covers, you have to find out who you are within the song. And then the first thing is to understand what the song is saying, understand what the feel is, mm -hmm. and then how you feel about it, and then how you transition a song into who you are. Right. Um, so all of those steps, for me, helped me do the same thing with this cover because now it's how do I want to present the song. I don't have to think about them. Right. I don't have to think about what they said. It's really what Kyla wants to say within the song. Yeah. So it's all a build to get there. The how did the previous uh, covers that you did, how did they kind of help you in creating this song your own? Mm. Well, I've, I feel like <laughs> a trend for me was taking country songs that weren't necessarily soulful and mm. making them transforming them into something right. that I would so you've been sing. doing it since the beginning yeah and um, I took the same approach with this song okay um, but it was so well well written um, almost written for me really yeah. for my voice that I didn't really have to transform it a lot but sometimes your your practices are harder than your test right. uh -huh. so yeah <laughs> now, That's what, kinda... what has been the biggest takeaway uh, throughout the season for you guys biggest takeaway um, for me, I think my biggest takeaway, honestly, my biggest takeaway is in every opportunity you have, you have the option to be a beacon of change. Um, for our challenge week, I really, really invested my emotions into social media. And so that opened up the floodgates for people to tell me their stories, tell me how they feel, tell me how they're affected. And I realize that God gives us opportunities to change people. And it doesn't matter if you have a platform. Yeah. You can do it at home. You can do it at your job, at your school, at your church. Yeah. So for me, it was an immediate change, an immediate appreciation for this opportunity. And I immediately started thinking about other avenues to continue that process. So I know it's musical. I know it's great. But you don't get this opportunity often to touch people. And so it's important for me to leave this and continue to change lives if I can. Um, 
God, I feel like mine isn't mine isn't that deep. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just taking away even a greater love for country music than I had coming into it. Um, I've learned so many life lessons and so many um, music industry lessons that I'm I'm taking with me. Um, more more than anything, I'm taking away friendships that uh, I feel are lifetime friendships. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's what the voice is about.